Today I'm going to show you how to draw a curved arrow in Inkscape. Select the Bezier pen or Bezier tool. A keyboard shortcut is Shift F6. Click on the artboard, hold down the left mouse key and pressing down the control key, move your mouse away to make a straight line. Double click to end the line. Next, go to Object, Fill and Stroke. Selecting Stroke, you can change the Stroke Paint. Select Stroke Paint. Make sure the option down here is Flat Color. Down here, you have different color algorithms you can choose from. RGB, HSL, CMYK, Wheel, etc. Let us go to RGB and pull the red value all to the right to make the line red. You could have chosen any other color. Selecting the stroke style, you can change the width to make the stroke thicker. Here on the drop down, you can choose the unit you wish to work with. I prefer using millimeters. Let us set the unit at millimeters and adjust the width to 2.5 millimeters. Down here below where it reads markers, you can click the drop down to set the start markers which are drawn on the first note of the line. Or set a mid marker here which could be drawn on any mid note except the first and the last ones. And here you can draw end markers on the last note. Select a start marker here if you need one. Select an end marker. Let us duplicate this. To make a simple curve, click on the note tool to select it. Then click on the line and pull up to curve it. To have more flexibility curving, we can select the note tool and double click on the line to create a new note. Click on this icon up here to show busy handles of selected notes. Now when you click on a note, it will show you its handles. You can use the handles to adjust the curves accordingly. Notice that the marker, in this case the arrowhead, also has a Bezier handle. Grabbing this and pulling will allow you to adjust how the end marker or start marker looks on the line. For now, the arrowhead size will follow from the stroke width you set. There is no GUI or graphical user interface to easily change it. But there is another way to change it by going through the XML editor in Inkscape. Please let me know in the discussion section if this is of interest to you. And I'll be putting up a short tutorial on that. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to like the video and to subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.